Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the one shot edition. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, uh, hit up our Discord channel. If you want to buy our cool crap like a phone case or a throw pillow or a duvet cover, yeah, I'm serious. A freaking duvet cover. Uh, head to our shop. It's down there at the bottom, I think. Uh, shout out, of course, to our uh, sponsors. Uh, we got Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, if you need some custom-made dice, including a big red here, which these guys are first, first level tonight, so I won't pull out big red. Uh, you can check them out at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like roses and chocolates. Uh, try yourself some Adventure Sense. Adventure Sense are made by oddfishgames.com, who also makes the Shine system. So if you want to learn how to write much more gooder than me, check out their Shine system. Coming soon, their Kickstarter. How to RPG with your cat. I played it. I had a good time with it. Hopefully, it is on MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, don't forget, we are hosting a an online convention in a virtual world, uh, courtesy of Topia, and it is MurderHoboCon.com. Check it out. We are now taking submissions from DMs, GMs, uh, panelists for seminars, etc., cetera, et cetera. And the most best most important piece of information if you want to be on the show on a one shot like tonight uh or on our talk show on tuesdays m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you on like these four fine folks they have volunteered to go ahead and be our lab rats for tonight and let's see how they do uh we've got two returning players here we'll start with jeff jeff tell us a little bit about yourself tell us much bc all right, my name is Jeff. I'm from Texas. Um, I am playing a tabaxi uh, warlock that has a penance for shiny things. And remember, folks, if you've seen this show before, you know Carol, uh, one of our regulars, is a tabaxi racist. So make sure you post how wrong that <laughs> is so that I can get a shitload of emails from her. Uh, next up is Andrew. Andrew, same question, different answers. Hello, everyone. Andrew, living near Charlotte, North Carolina. Tonight I'll be playing Judo, a turtle barbarian who's just pissed that this fish knocked him into the ocean after he tried catching him. Oh, you are going to be so popular in this town. <laughs> Great. Uh, next up, new to Murder Hobo. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Kyle. Hi, I'm uh, Kyle. I help run the Dicecasters uh, Twitch channel uh, and I'm very happy to be here. I will be playing today a Warforged Rogue who just wants to be a real boy. Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> And another welcome addition to Murder Hobo. Saved the best for last, didn't we, Kaylee? Kaylee, tell us a little bit about yourself and your PC. Uh, hey there, I'm Kaylee. I'm the social media manager for uh, Raven and Riddle Dice. And speaking of custom dice, um, when we hit 2,500 followers on Twitter, <laughs> we will be holding a giveaway for a special custom-made Big Chunk um, made by our wonderful dice maker, Sam. And tonight I am playing a uh, boomer, a gnome barbarian, um, with a certain unique temperament. Y'all see. Oh, Ooh, I forgot to say my name. I represent as hero. <laughs> that is that is so bad for everybody else, folks. As I said, uh, these guys are all first level. Uh, they are headed towards uh, Fanatica. Uh, it, it was a slow day on selecting cities when I wrote this, I don't know, last year sometime. Uh, but these guys are on the road and they found the signpost headed that way, but they hear some rustling in the bushes, lady and gentlemen. Uh, somebody's in the bushes at the crossroads. What do you want to do? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <clears throat> Hi, we can hear you. Hi. Give me a persuasion check, uh, there, gnome. Oh yeah, I'm real good at those. 
All right, that's a six on the die with minus one. So that'll be a five. Wow, we're off to a great start. Uh, the top of the bushes part and a bearded and mustachioed man leans forward uh, and goes, Oi, I'm busy here. Give me just a minute. Uh, you hear just further you hear further rustling. Uh, pretty soon, a man wearing a long robe uh, gets up, and you can hear the familiar clank, uh, so you know he's packing heat. Uh, he comes walking up towards you, kind of wiping off his hands, and he approaches number two, Gudu the Turtle Barbarian. Uh, uh, aren't you a stout fellow? Pleased to meet you. My name is Harry Shoot. I'm Guru. Nice to meet you. I don't shake hands. I see. Uh, so, travelers, uh, what brings you to this neck of the woods? I'm just trying to find a big fish that knocked me off my boat. Huh. Well, we don't get too many of those around here. Uh, what say you? Uh, da, 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 da. Lucky. I'll just walking down the street trying to find some adventure. Oh, you're headed towards Fanatica, are you not? Uh, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> uh, big trouble there. Big trouble. A lot of big trouble there. Even uh, talking to the gnome. Are you the one that uh, interrupted my constitutional? Yeah, sorry about that. I mean, I just heard some weird bustling. I want to make sure that you weren't some sort of weird animal that was supposed to attack us, you know. Thanks. Uh, and he takes a look at the Warforge. Hello. And turns my back name. to the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I am Harry Shoot, uh, and you guys seem to be on the road to Fanatica. Hey, you guys need to be careful. They've got, uh, what do you call that there, um, uh, cult problem there. Just so you're warned, uh, you might want to steer around that city, uh, even though I'm told there is a big fish there. That would do you good, Gudu. Big fish. I, not your I, I need a big fish. I also have one of those. Woohoo, axe buddies! Wow. <laughs> uh, he looks back to the Warforge. Hello. We are, you say there are probably. He looks back to the Tabaxi. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Harry doesn't much care for the Warforge. He turns back to you and he goes, Friend, you've been nice to me, but I've had some uh, bad uh, encounters with uh, some of your people. What exactly do you do? Are you a city guard as well? I am not a city guard. Um, I am uh, into trading things and acquiring things for people. <sighs> what about the uh, robot there? I think uh, I am not sure quite. What's up with him? Harry looks at H1R. Are, are, are you zero or O? Uh, hero. Ah, hero. Uh, H, H1R zero. Looks at Hero and says, uh, nah, I'll shake your hand. <laughs> Shakes hand enthusiastically, a little too enthusiastically. Uh, you sense a lot of dampness on his hand. So, uh, there, uh, Hero, are you headed uh, off with these three? Because this looks like an interesting bunch. You got two axe buddies and, uh, you know, the cat. Yeah, been uh, venturing for a while. It would seem rude for me to leave them right now if we were to see said problem that you need solving. Well, it's not my problem, actually. It's the people of Fanatica, and I'm far too busy. Uh, everybody roll perception checks. Nice. Nine. I got a 16. Perception. 21. 
Wow. Uh, Hero and Lucky, uh, you notice that this guy's packing armor, nice armor underneath his robe. Uh, you also see the tip of the scabbard indicating that this guy is kind of hardcore fighter, uh, despite his unusual uh, personality. Uh, not nearly as unusual as Gnome, mind you, but he seems to be not from these parts. Much like all four of you. Uh, Harry apologizes uh, for the brevity, but says uh, he must uh, go upon his journey. He wishes each one of you, uh, pausing again at uh, Hero. Uh, uh, good luck in Fanatica. Uh, I hope you find what you are seeking, including the big fish. It is the top of our priority. We shall make it found. I wouldn't go in that bush either, uh, not for a while. Well, best of luck, Harry Shoot speeds down the road uh, doing the fast walk. Uh, he yells back to behind you, you must hurry, it's only an hour till dusk. He seems like a friendly fellow. Well, if we have to hurry, do you think one of you guys can give me a peek back ride? Short legs. Up on up, Axe buddy. Thank you. Clamber up. Uh, can one of you say two men enter, one man leave for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, I, I assume you guys head down the road. Uh, he's on down the road. Who wants to D12 against me first of the night? Hell oh, yeah. All right, you can go. Oh, no, you, you had your die first. Go ahead. All right, eight. Six. Good news, it's not going to pour rain on you, so uh, you're going to have mild weather as you move down the road. Everybody give me an investigation check, please. Ooh. I'm good at that. If you can... Ten. Oh, wait, I actually am good at investigation checks. Sixteen. I'm wasting my good rolls on this. I got a nineteen. Uh, Eighteen, because I have a minus one. Twenty-two. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, the gnome spots at first, followed by the tabaxi and then the warforged. Uh, there are a small pack of mules just to the side of the road eating some kind of wild grass. Uh, they appear to not give two craps about you. Uh, they are do not appear to be aggressive at this time. Uh, They're just hanging out uh, from your travels. You find this unusual because... Why would there be five mules just sitting out here? Uh, they do not have tack. They do not have barding. They do not have bags. These are, in your opinion, wild burrows. Would you like to keep on going or take a look at this unusual situation? Hey, guys, for mules. Well, what if they belong to someone? Should we leave them for the potential owner? Well, I, mean I don't... I don't think I'll fit on one anyway. <coughs> they could be worth some money, though. Money is a construct that I do not need, as I am a robot, as so friendly pointed out not too long ago. Harry, shoot. <laughs> Harry, shoot. <laughs> Harry, shoot. <laughs> Bypassing the burrows and continuing on. My legs are built, uh, were built for walking, so therefore that's exactly what they will do. You know, the gnome was able to spot these because she is still on the top of the portal shell. That's what, that is why she had the high roll. <laughs> so bypass the burrows, correct? Just as the sun begins to set, a stockade fence with thick tree trunks covered in not quite pitch, but a flame retardant substance uh, presents itself. A crude timber sign horizontal has been carved out to read out Fanatica. Uh, you have arrived at your destination. A pair of men at arms stands above the entrance. It is double doored uh, and hail down to you. Hail, good travelers. How may we assist you? Do you have any big fish? 
Uh, the big fish is currently in the courtyard. That's a weird place for a fish. You know, they normally in water. They right. water. I don't think the big fish likes water. Is the big fish maybe uh, a name that uh, you have given this other person who may not be actually a big fish? Uh, Trout I don't is get his it. name. Trout. Trout is the big fish here in Fanatica. But he's not actually a fish? Of course not. Why would he be a fish? He's a person. He's the big fish of Fanatica. I don't know well, about why these would you guys. Call him a fish if he's not a fish. I mean, like. The, the two men at arms begin to argue amongst each other with uh, the feasibility of whether or not you guys have been kicked in the head by horses or not. <laughs> so they aren't really sure whether. Why? why so the one says, okay, A, the big fish is the leader of the town. You know that, right? We are new yeah. here. And two, he's not a fish. He's just called the big fish. So A and two, you get that one, right? <laughs> so do you want yes. to come in before nightfall? Please, yes. and thank you. He's not like even a little bit fishy? I don't know about the short one. The short one, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking at the turtle, the men at arms go, uh, is that one okay? <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah. Well, uh, you can come in. But thank you. It's going to cost you five copper. Which you guys will have. Thank you, good sir. I put the copper in his hand. You have been a very helpful man indeed. Oi, 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 open the door and may the light of the try shine upon you. Both guards say that in unison. May the light of the try shine upon you. From this distance, uh, you cannot tell what their tunics are emblazoned with, uh, but you hear some uh, grunting and some uh, wood on wood noise. Uh, clearly, there's a uh, lock, a, a simple lock on the other side. The door opens, and there are four more guardsmen. Uh, they are all emblazoned with like a triangle with rounded edges. In the center of the triangle, uh, in the center of all three triangles, is a large eyeball, and below it is a T, an R, uh, and a, a phi symbol, if you're familiar with the Greek alphabet, a circle with a line through it, spelling out tri. Uh, as you walk in, uh, you notice people are going about their daily business. Uh, it's, it's a standard medieval, low-class town. Structures are wood. The roofs are thatch. Uh, there's a large center square where a large man is talking to a bunch of people. He is wearing very nice robes, black in color, with silver uh, adornments on it. He has that same symbol emblazoned across the chest. Uh, he also has at his disposal three guards. Uh, as you walk in, you can see people milling about. Everybody looks friendly. There is a cistern, so Gouda, sorry, no river. Uh, Harry lied. Next so, time I see this Harry, I will need to tell him that his information was false. I think Harry would be much appreciative of that. The town bus bustles with activity, including several members of the religious order, try, uh, helping citizens with chores. A group of people appear to be building a large structure in the middle of the plaza. Uh, everybody give me a wisdom check, please. Hey, natural 20. Eleven. Uh, ten. Uh, Gouda and Lucky uh, building a church. That's what that is. That is definitely a church. One hundred percent guaranteed. Uh, Hero, <laughs> since you are a construct, 
uh, religion is a foreign topic to you, so you know. Uh, and gnomes, since they're godless heathens, same thing. <laughs> I have a name, you know. <laughs> um. So there are people milling about. You guys can uh, look around. You can entertain yourself with the people. Nothing appears to be amiss. Uh, the dude in the black uh, with silver uh, trappings uh, appears to be helping with the direction of the church. He clearly looks like a leader type. Uh, but other than that, you have entered a Fanatica with very little fanfare and no problems whatsoever. Kind of rare in Philbar, but you know what? Sometimes I, I, I give you the easy one. So, what would you four like to do? Is there, a, is there a marketplace around here somewhere? There is a marketplace just on the other side of the church construction. Guru, would you like to see if the market has a giant fish for you to take? I think you misunderstand. I need to kill the giant fish, not just find one. Oh. <laughs> we are far from water. That it will make our mission quite difficult. Would you like I, maybe a giant fish to feast on to fuel your your rage for this fish? Uh, Boomer, you are approached by a female. Hello, may the light of the tribe be upon you. I am still riding upon the turtle's shoulder. So. Mm -hmm. Hi there, hi down there. And she keeps walking by. Hmm. You know, these people are a bit weird. I say we approach the leader, see what he might have to say. Hey, Axe Buddy, want to see if there's a fighting pit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the fighting pit in uh, Fanatica is a big draw. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to have four members added to it here. Just yeah, so that think we'll fight each other if we find it. That's right. Uh, okay, good is saying, uh, let's talk to the leader. I could go. We should talk to the leader. Get instructions. Maybe speak about cults? Sure, that'll work. Uh, as you guys walk across the dirt plaza, two men at arms see you headed right towards this individual and step in front of you and say, hello, has the light of try shined upon you yet? Always. It is warm. And also you? Ooh, nice touch. Give me a uh, religion check there, Boomer. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, thank God, religion. Okay, that's a dirty 20. You have correctly guessed that that is how you should respond to these guys, and they are like, yes, blessed sister, it has. Thank you very much. Uh, did you wish to have a seek audience with the big fish? Yes, and I'd also like to know why he is called that. Because we are England. His name is Trout, and he is the leader. Hence, he uh, is the big fish. I get it. It's a pun. It's a pun. And I will kind of, you know, elbow. Wham, up. wham, wham down on the portal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a pun. Yeah, uh, but, uh... Two thirds of pun is pu, so don't get too excited. <laughs> nice. Uh, as the henchmen, guardsmen, men at arms move across, uh, the leader Trout uh, sees the gnome perched atop <laughs> of the turtle and says, "Hello, blessed sister. May I help you with something?" Quick question: Does the uh... try shy upon you? Um, something? Something? Uh, got any work? <laughs> okay that's how you're gonna start uh anybody else want to talk or are you gonna let the oh, gnome also, uh do the talk just just, a, the just gnome with charisma. uh yeah and also by the way as she um opens her mouth and smiles at the big fish you can see that all of her teeth have been filed into points so um but she's gonna be like hi so we're actually looking for a literal big fish uh you know where we can find one just, just out of curiosity, does, does Trout look like Ewan McGregor from the movie Big Fish? He does now. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love sure. that movie. 
Uh, Obi Wan is the leader of this town. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, oh, no, I'm Jenna Grievous. As uh, Trout ponders the goblin esque looking gnome, uh, his role was not well, so he will focus on anybody else. Uh, and at this point, it will be hero uh, because you ask the next question. Why, aren't you a construct? I am indeed a construct. I have been made to with one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to help my friends. Uh, but we seem to be at an impasse. We have no objective. We have no goal. We would like to know what you have on offer for us to maybe peruse, or peruse your job listing, if you have one. Well, um, I think that can be arranged. You four appear to be, and he looks at Boomer, strapping individuals. <laughs> uh, but I believe we can find work for those that uh, believe in the light. Uh, we are having evening vespers. Perhaps if you uh, show up here in an hour, uh, we can go ahead and find some work for you to do. Uh, the light willing, uh, if that is agreeable to you. Right now, I'm afraid I must move to prepare for the evening prayers. Are there any other questions I can assist you with? I believe that is everything that I need to uh, take in. Thank you for your information. We shall wait here patiently. <laughs> it's uh, he, like wait mode. Hero, he looks at you and says, always remember, I will have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you four uh, have been released, and you may continue to wander around from this vantage point. You can clearly see the marketplace. It appears to be closing. Uh, it's an outdoor marketplace. This is not a big city. This is a small, small town, bigger than a Thorpe, but still a small town. Uh, so there are some uh, accoutrements here that you might find uh, useful. Tavern, an inn a clothing shop, uh, blacksmith, things of that nature. Uh, the people are moving around. Every person that walks by you says the same thing. May the light of the tri shine upon you, my son or my daughter, depending on who they are talking to. And then they quickly move away. Uh, so they are not angry. They are also not friendly. Uh, they do not talk like Hero, so they are not all under a spell, as you can tell. Uh, they just seem to be very content. I am unfamiliar with behavior like this. Could you please tell me if there's anything wrong with someone who may be better at reading emotions? It's possible this is the cult we've been warned of. <gasps> Oh, no. Shall we do something about this predicament that we have found ourselves in? We could go to their prayer meeting. Ooh. We, I think we might need to I think we might need to go to the tavern to have a drink before we go to a prayer meeting. I always like to have a drink. Yep. How would you like to uh, and uh, Lucky twirls his limbs uh, his whiskers uh, Buy me a beverage. Do you not have funds of yourself? <clears throat> Here, well, I do. No, just give but... him money. I, <laughs> just give him everything. Money is a construct. I do not need it. I don't know how much I have. Hang on. But you Probably. are a construct, so do you not eat yourself? No, I do not eat, sleep, or drink. I am a construct. I do not need your habits. If you want me to wait, I will wait. Well, why don't you go ahead and, because splitting the party is always the best idea. Um, <laughs> why don't you go, do you want to go to the prayer meeting? Maybe, maybe they can think, because you're a construct, that you have extra need of religion, right? And we'll go get drunk and then join you. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> um, oh, fuck it, sure. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will check out the uh, the prayer meeting and see if there is anything untoward. 
and I will report back to you post haste. Maybe you could sing I'm a little teapot when you're at the meeting. <laughs> I think that would be unwise. <laughs> Drawing attention to myself in this position is probably not for not would not be well received. I shall watch from the shadows. Then I sneak away. Fair enough. Uh, the other three are going to get drunk. Let's go. Uh, Hero will start with you as you meander back towards the prayer meeting, which is in the shell of the new church, uh, and you hide in shadows, as you have so eloquently put it. Uh, you are spotted by a young child, and it is a boy. Uh, he is six years old, and you cannot help but notice that he is eyeballing you substantially, and he appears to be, give me an insight check. Ooh, natural 19. Uh, 21. He appears to be curious about you, but every time you hazard a look, he kind of moves behind some of the wooden structure supports. So he's a little bit apprehensive, but he appears to be curious about you. And I'll uh, get down, I kneel down on one knee and say, hello child, my name is Hero. I'm here to help. I believe your data banks have the same amount of knowledge of mine at this point in time. Could you please maybe enlighten me to what this is? Persuasion check. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, that's cocked. That's better. 15. Uh, okay. He's curious. He'll bite. He walks up and uh, he looks at you. What are you? People have referred to me as robot, construct, warforged. However, I do not who I know who or what I am. All I know is that people are in trouble and I must help them. Are you in trouble, young one? He starts to poke at you, <laughs> trying to determine exactly what you are. As you can says, see, I have no flesh. I am but metal. I, I, I'm not in any trouble, but I, and then you hear, Stephen, Stephen, and the boy looks and he goes, now I am in trouble. I must go. <laughs> and he wanders I'm, off. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have caused you trouble. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yes, he's kind of rude as well. Uh, inside <laughs> the tavern, Lucky, Gudu, and Boomer, uh, there's a small crowd in here. Uh, normal civilian folks. They take one look at you guys and decide that uh, the tabaxi is the curious one. Uh, kind of eyeballing it. Sniffing. Uh, just watching you guys. Do you guys want to get a table or go to the bar? Go to the bar. To the, to the bar. Yeah. Boomer? Are you going to... Uh, hey, hey, Axe Buddy, can you put me down, please? Yes. She is now below the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender uh, comes up and to... says, what can I get for you two? <laughs> Your You're biggest strongest. cup of ale. Whiskey, please. Two cups of ale coming away. But Boomer is going to jump up so she can be seen over the bar. Um, Boy, why are you bringing your kid in here? Hey! Why are you bringing your rude kid in here? <laughs> <laughs> I am 43 years old. Your kid needs to check an orthodontist. He <laughs> 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 looks, uh, looks at the vaccine and goes, you're one of them there uh, cat people, right? Uh, looks at it. Uh, yes, I am. Why I do don't you see. coming in here and getting your drink and then knocking it off and asking for another drink? We had a tabaxi come in a few weeks ago and do that. And that wasn't funny. 
the second time. <laughs> It'll be really funny the fifth time. Why does your kid want a whiskey? I'm and, 47 and, years old! And Gudu, that one was directed at you because the bartender saw you carry her in. I mean, look at us. Does she look like my kid? I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adopted. <laughs> See? Right there. That is a reasonable but answer. Like you. Boy. You know, you need to learn to come out of your shell a little bit more there, pal. Okay, I'll get your kid a whiskey if you don't care. No uh, problem. Hero, everybody who walks by you outside, may the light of tears shine upon you. Uh, the beverages are served. Gudu, you're going to have to take it off or uh, Boomer will most likely spill it on herself. The bartender says to Lucky, Gudu, and Boomer, uh, may the light of try shine upon you. And also, and also you. Also with you. Okay. Well, there you go. Shine there you on. Go. Uh, Lucky, <laughs> Lucky, Gudu, and Boomer, give me a perception roll. Hey, that is nice. That's like my 39. Uh, 21. Uh, 15. <laughs> uh, Boomer and Lucky. There's uh, three salty looking dudes in the words of Harry Callahan. Uh, checking you guys out. And they do not appear to be friendly. Hi! They're getting less friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah, arm wrestle me. Buy me you, if 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 you win, you buy me my next round. If I win, no, the opposite of that. If I win, you buy me the next round. If you win, I buy you your next round. Uh, Gudu, uh, one of the dudes looks at you and goes, "Is your kid for real?" Not my kid. Just is she, short. Is she for sale? <laughs> Ask her. How much you got? Hey! <laughs> the, the cattle <laughs> seller. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if you don't care, I don't care. Okay, Missy. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And he takes his cloak off, and he looks like Schwarzenegger. <laughs> He's just stacked. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> puts his hand out. You and I are going strength to strength. So D20, add your strength bonus. Boo. Oh, crap. <laughs> 13. 12. Uh, he gives you a run for his money, uh, but uh, you win. So he says double or nothing. <laughs> That's, and she'll give her a, a big grin and shake her little pony, her pigtails and be like, Let's do it. And uh, with that, I would like to rage. Okay. So, uh... Advantage. 18 this time. Okay, well, good thing I raged. Um, especially because my first one was a three. Oh, no, still, you still beat me. 13. Uh, he puts your hand through. However, <clears throat> you felt him kick you right before you guys threw down. Outside, Hero, uh, the dude in the black vestments with silver lining, uh, comes up to you and looks around. Hello, my good sir. Do I call you sir? Or you should I call, call you? Whatever you wish, unfortunately. Uh, uh, well, fortunately for me, gender has no meaning. So you can call me whatever you feel comfortable with. I was wondering, um, <clears throat> would it be possible for you to assist us in uh, putting the steeple up? 
of course, that it is a job that would be most easy for a few of my companions, as they are quite strong. Well, your companions are here. Would you would you be willing to help us out? Did you want me to go see if they're available, or I could go help you now? You can help me now if you'd like. All we need to do is attach a rope to you and uh, lift you up to the second level. And uh, then I had to just died. Sorry, give me a second. Sure. So he's going to be a metal pinata. <laughs> He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm back. I missed it. Someone hits it, Dad. Oh, you're fine. Uh, the Holy Reverend Trout uh, asks you. Uh, he w- he wants to put a rope around you, lift you up to the second, and then lift the steeple up and have you go ahead and set it for him. I'm sure that seems like a reasonable and fun experience. That seems like something we all normal people would do. Of course I would do that. Okay. Uh, he calls for a couple of his friends to come over. They go ahead and throw a rope over top the high beam, uh, and then they fashion the circular area of it, and they put it around your waist. Uh, then they go ahead and start to lift you up slowly, 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 uh, how about you D12 against me to see how bad Alrighty. this goes? Oh, no. That's a one. A bell sounds in the distance, uh, and you notice the man in the black vestments wanders off. His associates wrap the rope around a peg, and you are... <laughs> Kind of dangling at this point in time. Back inside the tavern, uh, Boomer, this guy cheated. Hey. What? I felt that. I'm small, not dumb. I don't find you attractive, so you didn't feel anything. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay, that's it. That's it. She's just going to punch him. Fair enough. Go ahead and swing on him. He does not All wear right, armor. Alright, so let's see. Unarmed, that'd be unarmed strike. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that, that sucks. Um, How bad does it suck? That's a, that's a, that's a seven. Okay. Uh, you swing at a miss. He... Not a big fan of almost getting punched. Uh, looks at Gouda. I don't like your kid. And he tries to backhand her. <laughs> uh, no, 11, I'm assuming, does not get you. <laughs> uh, you hear a scream. You know, guy, lady, doesn't really matter. Uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, I have, I have cats. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, he's got an alien in the background. <laughs> I, I was hoping it was a cat. Okay. So, uh, Gouda, or, yeah, Gouda and Lucky, uh, it's about to get ugly. Uh, for some reason, you did not see this. Uh, Boomer just decided to go ape shit and punch this large dude with bulging muscles. Uh, he, Gouda, again, still feels that you two are somehow related because you're carrying her in, whatever. Uh, he's put his finger in your face, tried to backhand her. Lucky and Gouda, what would you guys like to do? I will try to scratch him with my total's claws. Okay. Uh, 13. Oh, yeah, easily. All right, that's a D4. It's going to be five points of damage, slashing damage across his Ooh, face. He, he crumbles to his knees. Uh, Lucky, what do you want to do? Um, we will just basically hold an action. Sure. See if anybody else attacks. D12 against me, Lucky. 
Eight. Four. Uh, you notice the bartender has hopped the bar, uh, leaving uh, three fresh mugs of ale just sitting there unattended as he jumps into the fray with Gouda, Boomer, and the mouthy dude. Mm. That is quite tempting. Mm -hmm. I think we might uh, grab one of those. What about, is there any cash or any shiny trinkets on the table? Uh, no. There are no. Well, you know what? If you guys paid for your beverages, yes. Those coins are still on the table. Oh, nice. I think we'll do a sleight of hand to uh, sure. procure our money back. <laughs> no, we will not. Three <laughs> plus eight now. His wife steps out from uh, an unknown alcove <laughs> and spots it uh, and squirts you with water because you're a cat. Why not? Uh, and you get sprayed. Meanwhile, it is now a general melee. Uh, unarmed, uh, the bulging muscle man does not have any weapons. His two friends are not happy with the rabid gnome uh, or with the angry turtles, so they will jump in. Outside in the uh, main plaza area. Hello? Hero, <laughs> you're just kind of swinging in the rafters. At this point in time, inside the tavern, Lucky, Gudu, and uh, Boomer, give me a perception roll, please. 19. 12. Boomer. Oh. Boomer. Sorry. Perception roll. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, that would be a thirteen. Uh, yeah. All three of you hear a bell sound. Uh, and strangely enough, everybody snaps to attention and begins to file out towards the exit. Uh, Gouda, or Gudu, uh, and Boomer, if you want uh, an opportunity attack, you can take it, but this guy has now totally become oblivious to the situation. Snaps to, very ice-faced, uh, and everybody begins to file out into the open area. I'll just go grab my ale. You notice that Lucky Charms is now a two-fisted drinker. <laughs> and wet. <laughs> uh, Lucky, uh, your assailant, uh, is also stone-faced walking outside in the bar. If we talk to her, if I like, say, hey, lady. Nothing. Mm. Should we go see what's going on? I guess so. to this. On one hand, Free alcohol. On the other hand, we should probably go see what's going on. Well, I down my two, grab the coinage since it's probably still there. It is. And then grab the third one. Yes, let's go. Can I grab a? Can is the whiskey still around? D twelve against me. Nine. Oh, the bottle's there, and it's got a whiskey in it. I'm going to grab it. Okay, you got it. Hero, uh, as you kind of spin around, you <laughs> notice that the plaza is filling with people. Apparently the bell is from Pavlov. Uh, and they are forming a big circle and holding hands. They are not singing Kumbaya at this time, but that's what it looks like to your robotic robust frame uh, as you kind of dangle around, rope around your waist. Uh, Lucky, Gudu, and Boomer, uh, you have grabbed the alcohol, grabbed your coinage, uh, and you... Are you guys walking out as well? Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. walking out stone-faced, singing one of us, one of us, or are you just going to go outside and take a peek? Take a peek. Yeah, take a peek. Uh, you guys clearly see Hero. Do I see them? 
Uh, I, as you continue to spin, you do. <laughs> Hello, friends. Uh, uh, well, you're, you're, if, if you want to talk to him, you're going to have to yell. But when she sees him, she's going to go. Do we see uh, where he's tied to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, clear, clearly, I, he wasn't getting lynched, uh, so no shitty emails. <laughs> uh, he, was, <laughs> he, was, he had a rope wrapped around his waist, and they were kind of winching him up to the second floor. Um, I am going to stealthily go over to where it's wrapped around and untie it, let him down. How strong are you? Not very strong. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and unwrap that. Uh, and then, uh, hero, roll a d12. Lucky, roll a d12. Oh, no. Now, remember, I do have cat-like reflexes. Sure. Full. What was yours, Lucky? Eight. Uh, good news is uh, your cat-like reflexes fail, uh, but you hang <laughs> on to the rope, so you are slowly lowering hero, not just dropping him like the dead weight that he is. So uh, as you guys <laughs> you may then uh, let go of the rope and land uh, with very little if any damage. Nice. Uh, but roll d20s. If you roll a 1 or a 2, you're going to take minor damage. 16. 6. Okay, uh, your cat-like reflexes aren't that great, but good enough to avoid damage. Uh, Hero, you can now remove the rope from your waist. Lucky, you have successfully rescued him. Boomer and Gudu, what are you doing? I will be watching um, if see if the uh, children of the corn here are responding at all to us lowering... Nope. Nope. They're all holding hands, and you can hear them. May the light of the tri shine upon us. May the light of the tri shine upon us. These guys are mesmerized. Is there any light coming from anywhere? Nope. Uh, as a matter of fact, the sun is starting to dim. It's going to start to get dark here soon. Uh, funny that you should ask, though, because the man in the black robe walks into the center, utters something, and boom, a light spell. A really powerful light spell illuminates all the way out to the edge. Uh, so he's, he's got some game to him. Uh, he begins to drone on something about Thunderdome or something uh, as the others uh, rise in intensity with their chanting, may the light of the tri shine upon us. May the light of the tri shine upon us. He holds a staff out and walks. The illumination is coming from the tip of this staff, which looks like some kind of a jewel. And he just walks out kind of a small circle from the middle. And that allows this light to shine upon each member of the community. There are about 40 people here. Uh, hero, roll perception. Oh, that's not good. Uh, perception, you say mm -hmm. seven. Okay, uh, so it looks like everybody's here. Uh, Lucky and Gudu, uh, you guys are, or I'm sorry, Gudu and Boomer, you two are hanging back, just keeping an eye on everything. Mm -hmm. e even the men at arms from the the wall are in here holding hands. They've they've stuck their spear in the dirt. <clears throat> May the light of the tri shine upon us. The only one that doesn't seem phased is the dude in the black robe and the silver uh, adornments. Clearly, he's like the religious leader. You don't even have to roll. <laughs> I look at Boomer and I go, yep, definitely the cult. Yep. <laughs> Not even? Boomer! Psst. 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 Give me a perception check. 
Percep sorry, perception. Per perception. Uh, if that, oh, that's cocked. Um, ten. Uh, you look around, but you don't see anything. Uh, Gudu, perception check. <clears throat> Better. Nineteen. Uh, you see a small boy, maybe nine-ish, ten-ish, take a small rock and kind of fling it at the back of uh, your known compatriot because she's not looking in the right spot. Uh, the pebble hits her with a 16, I assume. Kind of conks, just, her, on, just. conks, conks her on the head uh, and she turns around and she spots him. Uh, you have never seen this child. You don't know anything about it, but it's a young boy. And he does... I think he wants to play doctor. <laughs> or or Bye, come closer so he can hit her better. <laughs> <clears throat> so, gonna go, and then she will follow. Okay. Gudu and Boomer are the only two that see this. Uh, Lucky and Hero are still kind of keeping a quasi eye on uh, the children of the corn. Uh, now, if you guys want to tell them, the chanting is getting louder, uh, but the man in the middle is clearing his throat about to speak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say, point. I'm gonna point myself, point at the kid, point at my total friend and axe buddy, and point at the other two, and then what? make a rounding up motion. Uh, Lucky and Hero, give me perception checks. Uh, 12. <laughs> 21. Uh, yeah, you both figure out what she's doing. So <laughs> she wants you to bunt and then steal second base, apparently. Uh, but you see uh, Gudu and Boomer head on over to the child. Hero, at this point in time, you recognize Steven. Oh, my, I have made a friend. That small child, we should follow. If he needs assistance, I asked him if he needs help. He can talk to me. He must need assistance. And I just walked that way. All four of you come to the kid, and the kid is stepping back, motioning you to come into the shadows of uh, two buildings, kind of an alleyway. Do you follow him in? I follow in. Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Stephen is, uh, what I say, nine? Six. 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 Yep. Six. Sorry. Uh, Stephen, the six-year-old, says, are, are you here to help? That is what I said that I was here to do, Stephen, my good friend. Is this the time that you need help? Uh, everybody roll an insight check. <gasps> Three. Eleven. And... Bizarrely enough, 17. Uh, Boomer, there's something wrong with this kid. He's already hit you in the back of the head with a stone, and he seems to have an unusual relationship with Hero, as does Hero to him. Uh, you aren't really sure how that happened, because to the best of your knowledge, Hero's just been hanging around. <laughs> <sighs> You're, you wanted puns? You got puns. Uh, so, uh, Gudu, Lucky, Hero, uh, you listen intently as this kid begins to explain he needs help. Uh, there's something wrong with his mother, uh, and, she, and he needs true heroes to help. Uh, Boomer, damn kid gave you a welt on the back of the head with that pebble. Didn't do any hit point damage, but it was enough to get your attention. <clears throat> you're a weird kid. But is, your, is it have something to do with the whole uh, thing? Is, is this a frequent occasion, or does this happen uh, only once? This ha Which the, vespers? That stuff? That's every night and every morning. Why are you a part of it? I, I'm I'm watching after my mom. 
What's wrong with your mom? She is sick. What, with what affliction? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> or in the back alley. <laughs> That's right. Back alley medicine. This guy, the six year old, is a tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to graffiti the back of the robot. <laughs> yes, I need Kick more. me. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Um, is it this affliction that seems to be taking over everyone, or is it a different thing? Uh, my mother has a fever and needs help. Well, take us to your mother. Maybe we could. <laughs> take us to your mother. <laughs> that would have got over better with Hero. Uh he, le he leads you down uh, and he starts to wind in between the buildings. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, and he's, he's picking up the sp speed. Yes, ma'am. What? I mean, you know, clerics can often like make people feel better. Isn't that that weirdo, the big fish guy? No, you need to help me right now. And he <laughs> is bobbing and, and weaving his way through. Uh, in, can I do another insight check on this? Sure. Um, uh, come on, as again, as good again, as good again. Uh, nope. That that'll be a three. Apparently, he's very concerned about his mother. How are you not affected by the uh, chanting? Come on, come on, come on. Come on we come are on. following. Okay. We <laughs> You come to a ramshackle building uh, kind of sandwiched in between another building and the wall. Uh, she's right in here. Come, my friends, help. I am uh, unfortunately not great with the human anatomy. I would suggest that one of my friends look into your mother. I am going to keep watch. <laughs> look at the four of us. Are any of us human anatomy? <laughs> Yeah, uh, raise your hands if you're a cleric. There you go. <laughs> but you guys are heroes, so you're going to help the small child. <laughs> of course we are. Uh, uh, um, I can have a look, but I am not great at the anatomy. As you can see, I am a robot. As you open the door, uh, a single candle barely gives any illumination to this hovel, uh, a ramshackle bed sits on the far wall, and a very frail, uh, very emaciated looking woman uh, is there. A wooden bowl is next to her. Uh, the boy, Stephen, runs up, pulls out a piece of cloth, and puts it on the woman's head. Excuse me, madam. May I please know your name? Uh... uh... Is a who was the uh, who was the person who called you before when we were speaking, Stephen? My mother. And she fell this ill this quick. Yeah, it has only been a, an an hour, maybe. Wow, that has yes. a quick sickness. Um, it comes and goes. Oh, it's a frequent thing. Whenever the chanting comes. I think so. Everybody, roll insight check. Hmm. Oh, nice. 19. 14. Six. Well, I'm on pretty good tonight. Hero? Six. Uh, 14. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lucky, the, just trying to piece together what Hero is saying is not adding up to you. Uh, you can tell that the woman is sickly. You can tell that the cold compress seems to be helping. Uh, but something about the timeline that Hero has mentioned is not adding up to you. Uh, as you look around, you notice that this place is a dump. Uh, there is nothing of value here. Uh, it looks like you might be in the... Uh, Pit of uh, Fanatica. This is the low rent district, uh, and there's kind of a smell, but it's a smell of cinnamon. Uh, Gudu, Boomer, Hero. Uh, as you 
I don't know, played Dr. Welby or Dr. Doogie Hauser. Uh, you, you know what? I'll give you medicine checks. Go ahead and roll medicine checks. Yeah. So well tonight. The one, the one thing I'm yeah. not good at. Three. That is a nat Two. one for a total of minus one. Yes. So now hold on. We kill it. <laughs> I, I was gonna say your total, all four of you, your total is four, <laughs> two, one, one, and two, six, but somebody had a minus one, so five. <laughs> so five is what you do. You guys begin to examine this woman, you know, waving her arm around and doing this. Uh, her you begin to think you're making headway, uh, but as you're holding on to her and checking her, bruises and large welts are beginning to appear everywhere you touch her. Stephen looks at the tabaxi and goes, what are you guys doing? I have no fear. We are heroes. We are helping. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's colder, the thing on her head or my hands? Seeming I'd, I'd have metal hands. And that we well, at, at this rate, uh, it's as cold as your soul, which doesn't exist. So I suppose <laughs> I suppose your hand would be colder at this point in time. I place that on top of her head. Shh, well, and, and your roll was what? Two. Yeah, you. <laughs> Push your head down through the bed because you can. You're, you've got a depth perception issue. You're a myopic warforge, and just push her right through the fragile bed. Uh, the bed collapses uh, again. Lucky Stevens, like, what the hell are you guys doing? We're helping. We're, we're making better. <laughs> I think she needs whiskey. I think that will help her. Okay. Uh, and what was your role, Boomer? A total of negative one. Yeah, you take the whiskey and crack it upside her head uh, <laughs> to go ahead and resuscitate her. Uh, now Stephen's mom's in dire straits. You can hear shallow breathing. Uh, Stephen goes running out of the building screaming. You ruined our whiskey. <laughs> I said, Apparently, a little bit of whiskey. Charles' mother with an axe is a bad idea, so I said I'd try whiskey. The door to the hovel slams open, and two men at arms, the kind of burly dudes, uh, charge in with Stephen in tow. Oi, what the hell are you doing in here? We're helping. Oh, the chanting, the chanting has stopped. Then, uh, yeah, you do not hear any chanting outside. What was and, that? And as as you address these two individuals, you see a lot more citizens looking in over. Uh, so apparently everybody's left vespers and magically appeared right here at the Children of the Corn hovel. <laughs> so the men at arms, not the two that you met earlier, uh, not the two uh, with the uh, black robe dude, uh, two new guys uh, want to know who you are and what you're doing and why is she covered in whiskey and why are there shards of glass everywhere or ceramic? There was a proposition to help a person in need. However, the person in need needed medicine or, or a, a doctor, which we are not. We have zero skills when it comes to being doctors and the human anatomy. So unfortunately, as you can see, our medicine checks or our attempt to resuscitate this said woman went poorly. Everybody roll insight. Eleven. Twelve. Seventeen. Oh boy. Um, that's a seven. Uh, Gudu, Lucky, Boomer, you're starting to regret letting the construct speak. Uh, hero, <laughs> you can tell in your limited uh, abilities with humans that these individuals appear to not believe you at all. 
Isn't that right, Stephen? That is what you asked us to do. And we did say that we are... Uh, These guys not... hurt my mother. <laughs> In which we apologize profusely about, unfortunately, when it comes to the human anatomy, me and my friends are not professionals. We are professional heroes, not doctors. We should have uh -huh. made you sign a waiver. Small child! Which one is uh, of the guard seems to be like the leader of the two. I want to cast a lesson charm cantrip on him. The one on the right. Go ahead. What's my save? Uh, it will be, I guess it's my wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, da, 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 da. It'll be a 10. It appears as though your spell has worked. Um, yeah. He's a cat I'm going <laughs> to say uh, we were only trying to help. Let us pass. Uh, and I try to walk out. He they were only trying to help. Let them pass. <laughs> his, his friend doesn't give a shit <laughs> and allows the tabaxi to walk out uh lucky outside the building there are uh, 16 people wondering what the hell's going on they see you emerge uh d12 against me two two <laughs> uh you do not see the bartender but you do see the bartender's wife who recognizes you and scowls menacingly uh, Gudu, Boomer, Hero, uh, Lucky has just sauntered out of this building, leaving you three <laughs> to handle the two guards and Steve. Steven, what do you want to do? Well, I guess we're good here. I'm a small too. child. I bear no liability. <laughs> Uh, how long does your spell last on the uh, guard, Lucky? It is one minute. Uh, Gudu, you first. D12. Nine. Nine. Uh, Boomer, D12. Eleven. Um, that fell on the ground. Uh, seven. Hero, D12, an eight. Nine. Uh, Hero, you are allowed to pass because, quite frankly, they're tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Do -do. Uh, they reluctantly let you pass but ask you uh, to explain what your child means. What this young lady is trying to say is that, as a young child, she has no bearing on what happened in here. He was simply along for the ride, almost quite literally. Persuasion, <laughs> persuasion check. Are you going to smile at him, Boomer? Yeah. Uh, so can I? Uh, can I be? Uh, can this count as a help action? <laughs> Let's not help action. She's uh, not showing teeth. Thirteen. Uh, the lack of teeth does help out a little bit. Uh, the two guards are like, whatever. Uh, Stephen scowls at odd even, even Boomer. The light will not shine upon you <laughs> as, as you walk past. Uh, lucky you find yourself in the crowd, but of Who course, being an outsider, uh, they, they don't want to get close to you. You see Hero, uh, walk out. And he is greeted neutrally, uh, followed by Gudu and Boomer, who looks a little bit puzzled. Uh, in the doorway, all four of you see Stephen just shooting darts out of his eyes at all four of you. Sorry that we could not help your mother. Apologies. I hope she gets better, even though hope is a wasted construct for you mortals. <clears throat> Are any of you a doctor? I'm a doc. Oh, 
oh, doctor, I thought you asked to adopt it. Nope. Wow. Nope. Uh, however, the black-robed individual uh, claps his hands. Everybody parts. Uh, he looks at you four, looks at Hero. Hello, good set, Trout. I'm glad you could get yourself down. Uh, he goes into the building, closes the door. The two men at arms flank the door, allowing no one in. You all hear a loud, painful scream from inside. Well, at least she didn't scream with us. We are very good professional doctors. If he is hurting her, we are obviously much better. Hey. We should probably stop them, though. Hey, 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 hey. Wasn't there a scream like that? Like, just before every way went all... Yes. You know, how the heck is this? You know, you don't hear what you said that it had something to do with the way they're all chanting and being all creepy. You're right. Everybody sees a light coming from underneath the hovel's door. Uh, it is very powerful, very white light. Uh, and the scream stops. Uh, one thing you do not see is Steven. He is not among the crowd. <clears throat> Stephen, my good friend Stephen, where are you? The light dims. Silence comes over the crowd. The door opens, and the man in the black robe steps out. May the light of the try shine upon her. And everybody and everybody, may the light of try shine upon her. He steps out, exiting behind him is the woman, not emaciated, looking full of vim and vigor, very pious, very well. Uh, thank you all, thank you. Behind her is Stephen, still staring daggers at the gnome. Uh, it's getting late. I think, hmm, Guru. Team Huddle! Team Huddle! <laughs> Team Huddle. Uh, the crowd disperses. Does, uh, oh. does his mom follow uh, the robed guy? Uh, the mom follows the robed guy, as does Steven. Still. I huddle around. Well. And kneel right, down. a boomer will get get in the middle because that works better because they can all huddle around her. Okay, so you guys I are think, huddled. I think that black rope guy is up to something. I think he's all. Mm, you know what I mean? This is not normal human behavior. Well, I mean, I'm not human, but I'm pretty sure if this was happening back home, I would be like, Ugh. so I'm pretty. I think. Now, I'm not the best problem solver, but I think that we should try hitting him repeatedly with our axes to see if that makes him stop being creepy. <gasps> Did you want me to activate kill mode? Yeah. No. Not yet. Oh. There are way too many guards. I only count the Well, two. wait, wait, wait. He said that we can come to him to ask for help. Or work, or whatever. So we'll go in here and be like, hey, we're looking for work. And then we kill him. I say we let... Plan. I say that we little let staff the... did look very fascinating. I would like to take a look at that jewel. The knife I mean, If there's a plan that doesn't involve killing him, I'm open to hearing it, but I can't really think of any. So I, got, I got dibs. <laughs> I got dibs on the, on the staff, you know, if we get it. Uh, DM, did, did, does the black robe guy have a hat? He does not have a hat. No. Well, I wanted a hat. But... We can definitely talk to him, but let's keep our weapons readily available, but not oh. in our hands. Okay. Uh, oh my god, okay. it's a puppy. So, everybody roll perception check to see if you noticed where the uh, old shrine is. Twelve. 
Uh, six. Nice. 17 plus two, 20, uh, 19. 18. Zero. Uh, 12. All right. Uh, Lucky and Boomer, yeah, you uh, you noticed a structure that looked uh, holier now that you think about it. Uh, not nearly as grandiose as what they are currently building, uh, but it was off on the plaza a little bit. You surmise that that would be the best place to find the black robe guy. I, I'm going to try and climb up um, on who's back again. Are you, you going to ask him this time? <laughs> <laughs> As I'm halfway up, I'll be like, hey, you mind? Come on up. All right. Hey, you guys noticed that uh, most of the citizens have returned to their own homes and buildings. There are very few people walking around. There are some, uh, just not a lot. Every once in a while, uh, somebody will walk by. May the light of the try shine upon you. We're just going to do finger guns. Nice. Finger, finger guns always works well. <laughs> and, and occasionally, <laughs> try shine. Try shine. Nice. Uh, you get uh, peculiar looks, uh, but you manage to cross the plaza without any problems. Uh, as you stand before this building, you notice that on the door is engraved the rounded triangle symbol uh, that is on the men-at-arms tunics as well as the robe of the, uh, we'll call him a cleric, the staff bearer. Uh, so you stand in front of this building. Who wants to knock or do you just want to barge in? I'll knock. Can Ooh. I hide anywhere? Sure, you can hide around the corner. I mean, it, yeah. it's it, it's now dusk or past dusk. It's it's light darkness out there. Uh, so you aren't going to be invisible, but you know you'll be hidden. Uh, Gudu, as you knock, <clears throat> nothing, no answer. Maybe it's a secret knock. Shave and a haircut knock. Yep, you guessed it. Anything? Nope. Anyone see a doorbell? No doorbell, no chime. Was it locked? Do you want to check? I'm going to yell out first. Hi, Mr. Big Fish Guy. He said you might have worked for us. Wow. Hello? <clears throat> Still no answer, and no, the door is not locked. Maybe we uh, take a rest? We'll try again in the morning. Hmm, we're here. Why not open the door? A guard do walks too. by. May the light of try shine upon you. Excuse me, sir. Sir, mm -hmm. we would like to speak to Trout. Do you know if he's available? He is probably engaged in his uh, evening prayers away from Vespers. So later, maybe? Or... Will we not see him again? You will see him at morning, Vespers, if you'd like. Fair I enough. suppose if it is urgent business, you may bother him. I don't know what his reaction would be. But if you want to wait till morning and talk to him before Vespers, you can. Is he inside? I assume. Well, we're going to go and be very trustworthy. Mm-hmm. Persuasion check there, Boomer. <laughs> Not deception? Um, uh, you can do deception. I mean, neither of them are better. Um, they're both they both really terrible, actually. Um, uh, oh, um, so that's a 14. He's not buying it. He rolled a 17 on Insight. Uh, you can tell a uh, dubious nature. Uh, I care not what you folks do. Please, may the light shine upon you. You too, buddy. So he, he, he wanders off. All right. We can either make a man. I mean, if if that thing happens.
happens with the crazy, like that every time they go, well, <laughs> I think, I think that means, you know, if that's going to happen to her every time, then it'll happen again in the morning. And um, I, I kind of think we should stop that. I mean, if we're going to be heroes and everything, right? Right. Let's go. So are, are we going in or are we going to rest? We're going in. Going cool. in. Who goes in first? The little one, of course. Yep. Yeah. So All right, put me down. Boomer, you uh, leap from Gudu's shell, jump down, push open the door, and there in front of you, face down in a pool of blood, is an individual in a black robe, a shattered staff still in his hand. I did not do it. That was quick, little one. Who wants to D12 against me? I will. Hey, 11. Eight. Good news is the man at arms is not returned. <laughs> I'm going to go back out because I don't think that it would have been enough time for us to do it. So I'm just, you know, whoop. No. <laughs> uh, hi guys, I've been about to do something very stupid. You have five seconds to stop me. We're going to stop you, but I first want to get that stab. The, the, <laughs> at least the jewel part. Uh, the jewel Mr. itself is fractured. Oh! Uh, Boomer is yelling for the guards. All right. I'm instantly hiding. Yeah, we definitely go hide. <laughs> Hi, uh, Mr. Guard. Remember, like, 30 seconds ago, which is totally not enough time to murder someone when we talk to you? Lucky and hero. Uh, Gudu, did you want to hide as well? I'll stay with her. Lucky and hero. Stealth. Uh, 17. Ooh, 14 plus 5, 19. Uh, you guys both zip around the corner of the building, and you can still hear Boomer, hello, guards, guards. Uh, Gudu, you and Boomer notice uh, that you have attracted the attention of three men at arms. What so Boomer good. one we just talked to? Uh, you know what? D12 against me. Ooh, 11. <laughs> yeah, not the one you just talked to. Uh, three guards come up. Oi, what can we do for you? Hey, I think you can get, like, we were just talking about your friend. Um, anyway, we just talked from, like, literally 30 seconds ago, right, Hoodoo? Yes. Yeah, well, um, we were, we were looking Mr. Choke. And we were, we were, we were there. Oh, we tried knocking because he was going to get more for us. So we tried knocking and then we didn't hear him. So then we tried uh, knocking on the door again and we didn't hear him. Then the guard came over and asked if we were okay. And he said, oh, maybe we Trout okay. is dead. <laughs> As he <laughs> looks over your diminutive head, Trout's dead. Why have you killed Trout? <laughs> we did not do this. Yeah, no. You were inside? We never stepped. We opened the door. Dad, it ran back out to get you. Uh, Boomer, give me a dexterity check, please. Uh, check or saving throw? Check. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not bad at this. As bad at this is anything charisma based. So, oh, uh, that's a dirty nineteen. The good news is Boomer did enter the building, but she did not step in the blood and track her footprints out. <laughs> so there's your bonus. Uh, they want to know what exactly happened. One of the guards remembers you from the gate and says, where are your friends? Did they do this? They were, they were oh, man, that was a help. perfect opportunity to throw them under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> You must have other clerics, right? Maybe one of them could do the whole thing, right? No. That was our only cleric. Really? Huh. I mean, 
Well, I definitely didn't murder him. If you find the guy we just talked to, he can tell you there was definitely not enough time to murder him, especially not this violently. Like, I've done a lot of violence, and I know that it takes a lot more time than you think to murder someone that violently. The guards, so the, the guards huddle up. <laughs> Two of them decide to go with Gudu and Boomer and say, you two will lead us to the guard that you just talked to. Our associate will stand guard here. Fair okay. enough. Before we go, I would like to point out, there is no blood on us. With all of the blood of him, there's no way we could have battled him and not gotten blood on us. That yeah, I mean, true. look at him. That's a lot of blood. Like, most of his blood. And humans have a lot of blood. It is, which brings us to the second dexterity check. Should be no problem for the tabaxi <laughs> because he went in and got the staff. Oh. Ooh, 13 plus. Oh, that's just a dex uh, plus dex modifier. Yep. All right. So 16. The cat burglar managed to get the staff without dripping his paws in blood as well. Good news again. Uh, the two guards want to take Boomer and Gudu and find the other guard that you just spoke to. Are you willing to leave? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll leave. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Hero and Lucky, you notice uh, they've diminished the guards by 66%. Hero, give me a perception check. Nine. You're fine. So uh, you see them leave Lucky and Hero. What do you want to do? Follow from the shadows, shall we? Or should we uh, come into the light? Um, I'm thinking maybe we should see if we can see if we see anybody running away from this area that might have actually done the deed. Look for tracks, you say. Good idea. Yes. Uh, investigation checks, both of you. Uh, 17. 11. Uh, lucky, you see a shadowy figure flirting about behind the building, moving in and out. The individual is short in stature. Um, I point, I uh, whisper, actually, you know what? Um, since I am a warlock, I am going to use my telepathy, and I'm the old one, and basically tell Hero, hey, I see a shadowy figure over here. Um, let's see if we can nondescriptly follow him. Does, uh, to- does telepathy work on Lieutenant Commander Data? <laughs> <laughs> it just has to know a language, so if he okay, can speak. Fair enough. Yeah, he can speak. Okay. Uh, Hero, <laughs> There's a shot Your voice is in my head, friend. Uh, yes, and I'll give chase, but a very nondescript, very, very stealthy chase. <laughs> sure. Uh, Boomer, Gudu, uh, you managed to catch up to the guard that you just talked to, and the other two guards begin to explain that Trout uh is dead uh the guard points out that he just saw you two at trout's house fiddling with the door so which one of you two wants to try and persuade the guards that you are not rampant (laughs) killers no probably not the gnome with the axe as big as she is and pointy teeth it's up to you there turtle well (laughs) First, we were not fiddling with the door. We were knocking on the door to get Trout's attention. The dead man's attention, you say. Persuasion roll number one. Oh, boy. Ah, 13. Okay, continue. You know the door was not open. And in the time now, from when we've had to catch up to you, there's no way we could have killed a man and had him bleed out as much as he has, then get more guards, then find you. Persuasion check number two. 
14. Getting better. That all checks out. <laughs> I mean, I, I think he's got a good point. That much, I would be absolutely covered in blood. I'm not, not speaking from. Experience. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you talking now? I'll take a <laughs> persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> With They're your going to jail. <laughs> Walked right into his trap. They're going to jail. Remember what happened to Hero? Eh, it's a little higher this time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's not completely terrible. That is a... Uh, that was a 14. You and your child need to go away as we try and sort this out. May we pat you down? I don't know what you're expecting to find, but I do have several weaponry on me. If they try, well, if they pat me down, they're going to realize she ain't no child, but okay. Okay. Uh, they pat you down, shrug your shoulders, uh, and head back to the scene of the crime. Uh, meanwhile, Hero rampantly stealthy uh, chasing down this small humanoid. Lucky, I assume you're behind him? Yes, stealthy uh, as well. Uh, you guys bob and weave, uh, and you're getting a whole bunch of bad memories, because this figure is moving in a very familiar uh, pattern, almost like, say, 20 minutes ago. Uh, as you move about, uh, you come face to face with the individual, and it is, of course, Stephen. Uh, behind Stephen, you spot two associates of yours, Gouda and Boomer. Gouda and Boomer, give me perception checks, please. Two, Stephen? Uh, seven. You two? Those two. Five. Even. Nope, you don't see shit. Either oh, wait, one no, of you. Oh, wait, no, sorry, a wrong eight. Yeah, still a little low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steven spins around, looks at Hero and Lucky, and in a voice coming from the depths of hell, says, the light will not shine on you either. Roll initiative as this kid goes... Full metal jacket on you. All of us or just those two? Just those Tw two for now. 20. Three. You know what? Uh, Gouda and uh, Boomer, go ahead and roll as well. Uh, it, My you... goodness, Hoodoo. Isn't it so nice to walk quietly around this town not fighting a demon child? Nothing. It's all quiet and we're free. I think I could hear some crickets. Uh, nine for me on initiative. A nine for me as well. Oh, very good. Uh, lucky. Real, real quick, Lucky. What'd you do with that staff? <laughs> Should I roll to see if I put that in the little... Uh... I think you kept it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we still have the staff. I think you still have the staff. Uh, you are up first. What would you like to do? This kid uh, is changed dramatically. I think we're going to do an Eldritch Blast on this little kid. You're going to kill a child in a strange town. That that's that's your first thought. Okay, that's fine. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and kill children because that doesn't affect our rating. Nudity <laughs> affects our rating. Killing children does not. We aren't sure why, but you know that's fine. Well, go I'm ahead. not really going to kill him. I'm just going to go ahead and kill Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think I hit. Probably has like five hit points. Oh, that's true. The bad thing is, is I hit him because I rolled a 19. So, Oh, you hit him. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I think we killed the child. I rolled a 10. <laughs> wow. Uh, the hole in his chest uh, <laughs> is just pouring out smoke. Uh, next up is him, and he does this. You will pay for that one. <laughs> uh, Hero, uh, you have just watched Lucky Charms blow a hole in this kid, and this kid has just 
healed the hole in his chest. Uh, ruh -roh. <laughs> what do you want to do now? <laughs> oh, meanwhile, you see two jackasses off in the distance. Oh, hey, you know what? I think we're free. We've got a good job. Hey, I can go for some oatmeal today. <laughs> Lucky, do you think you can uh, take this child by yourself for just a moment? And I'm going to slink into the shadows and hide. <laughs> I am not with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'll be. Don't worry. I'll flank around, and I'll move thirty feet away into like a somewhere where I can hide. <laughs> give, give me a stealth check. <laughs> Natural twenty. Nice. Uh, you disappear. Just whoop. Uh, round two. Uh, Gouda and Boomer, give me perception checks, please. Eleven. Oh, uh, that's actually seventeen. Uh, Gouda, the stars are beautiful tonight. Do you, beautiful. Do you, see, night. do you see how the clouds have cleared and this is beautiful? Uh, Boomer, uh, being much shorter, you start to look, but something catches uh, your notice out of the corner of your eye. Uh, it's uh, the diminutive child who pointed out. Uh, that the light is not going to shine upon you. And just beyond him uh, is your tabaxi companion holding a staff. <laughs> I'm taking that. That fucking kid! So, round two begins. Lucky, natural 20, you are up first. You've blown a hole in this child and uh, it has sealed up nicely. I think we're going to slowly back away. <laughs> but then we're going to shoot him again because, you know. Why not? Why not? I mean, if he could take one. Yeah, shooting, ch shooting children is easy. <laughs> uh, I think I missed with the two. Oh, not only did you miss, uh, Gudu, you now recognize that there's a problem as an Eldridge blast goes whizzing past your head <laughs> and you say, oh, look, shooting star and realize Holy <laughs> shit, that's my friend's spell. You turn and ah, uh, Boomer is, holy shit, it's the kid. <laughs> uh, lucky, I will now take a saving throw against wisdom, please. Oh, that's a weak spot. Seven. Yeah, I rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> you start to turn to run. Uh, Gouda and Boomer, you notice the cat is frozen. <laughs> One might say held. <laughs> so he did get his lucky charms. <laughs> he did get his lucky charms. Uh, that brings us to the pair of nines, Gouda and Boomer. Uh, A, Hero's not around. B, why does Lucky have that staff still? And C, why is the Children of the Corn here? Uh, Gouda and Boomer, you're up. Um, let's see. What? What's your dex? Dex highest dex goes first. Twelve. Uh, okay, I'm fifteen. So have fun. Boomer's gonna charge <laughs> towards. This child, and she, when in doubt, behead. Whip it out. Sure, go ahead and uh, cut off this kid's head. Okay, okay. Let's see here uh, with the great axe. Oh, that is a natural 19 plus 5, so I'm assuming 24 hits. Oh, yeah, easily. Your first level. This guy's not that powerful. He just <laughs> healed himself is all. So yeah, um, he, he's not invincible. It, it's not Harry's shoot, for God's sake. Keep in mind, she didn't see him heal. She just kind of hates this kid. Uh, and assumes she did something to our warlock. Um, True. Okay, and that is a seven for damage. <clears throat> Uh, you don't behead him, uh, but you know 
your gnomish uh, barbarian chant uh, does not go unnoticed. Uh, Gudu, apparently we're killing a kid tonight. <laughs> yep, I will also walk up and attempt to hit with my great axe. Sure. But before I do, I will rage. Yeah, I just realized I forgot to rage. Mm. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, that's a 15 to hit. Uh, that does hit. Okay, I, it's going to be, uh, I'm not going to try to kill him, but knock him unconscious if it's enough to do so. Sure. Well, it's going to be nine points of damage. Sure. Uh, you did not kill him. <laughs> you did not knock him out. Hero, uh, as you vanish into thin air, David Copperfield style, you turn around and notice uh, Gnome's gone ape shit on the kid, and uh, Gudu is apparently going to kill him too, and Lucky Charms is trying to hide in shadows, apparently very unsuccessful because he's right in the middle of everything and he's not moving. With the staff in hand, what would you like to do, Hero? Lucky, no, and I will shoot uh, the kid. Uh, and with you my <laughs> Ad- advantage with because uh, I'm hidden. Uh, hey. Not to hit. Not to hit. Not to hit. All right, so that's still. Uh, oh, I'll just re-roll it because. That's wrong. <coughs> so do that again. Uh, to hit is plus five, so that's an eighteen. 18 hits him. Right. You feel good? You feel powerful hitting the kid? Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, five um, and then so five points of piercing damage with three stink attack damage. That is going to hurt. Uh, top of the order. Lucky. See if you can break the hold person. Nope. Four. <laughs> <clears throat> He got an 11, so his concentration is not broken. He is going to pick somebody fun. Uh, But it's not going to be you, Lucky. It's your lucky day. One, two, three, four, five, six. Screw the gnome. Uh, He is going to point his hand directly at you, since you are on the same level. (laughs) 18 plus 3, 21. I assume that's the save. Uh, no, it's an attack roll. Oh, yeah, no, he's he's only got the one hold person. Uh, you take four points of radiant damage as power emanates from his hand, uh, it does not knock you back. Uh, and it is now your turn as this kid has turned upon. Well, if nothing else, at least that makes me angry. Um, Hulk mad. Boober will ah! and rage. Um, uh, you know, just, uh, I think I should get a saving throw for that lame ass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> does a 16 hit? Yes, it does. Okay. So. That's 10 plus 3. She's again going to try and behead him because she gives 10 plus 3 plus 2. So that'll be a 15. Uh, blood spurting from his shoulder, but he's not beheaded. Your aim's a little bit off. Gudu, you're up. I will attempt to hit again. Uh, 14 to hit. This is a really sturdy kid, guys. 14 hits. Lucky, you uh, feel freedom of movement returning. Um, Nice. 14. That's going to be 16. And again, if it's enough to knock him unconscious, I want to do so. Uh, Almost. Uh, Hero. Uh, The kid is down on one knee uh, begging for his life. Ah, the producer. Uh, the producer has given us, given us an opinion. I hear the, the sound of a voice far off in the distance just saying, fuck that kid, and I shoot him. Uh, 16. Uh, 16 is enough to put one right through his eye. Good thing you didn't take that literal. <laughs> um, 
Oh, uh, yeah, as a rogue. He was a warforged and a rogue, so, you know. Um, second story backdoor guys, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, you blow out the back nine. of the child's head. I hope you feel good about yourself. You're, I don't you're feel never going to become I'm a real boy. <laughs> I do not feel anything. I am a robot. Uh, we have to, to take lucky, it out the child. Lucky. Lucky, roll a D4 for me. All right. When we get our uh, hands back, we're going to gently put that. Uh, uh, I rolled a two. Two guards come around the corner. See the dead child bleeding out with brain matter scattered away. Uh, one arrow in his chest, one arrow in his eye socket. Uh, both Boomer and Gouda carrying bloodstained axes. Well, Gouda's is not bloodstained because he's using the uh, half of the weapon to try and just knock him unconscious while the rest of you murder the child. Uh, the two guards come running across. Do they notice the staff? A 17 and a 12. Uh, he's got the staff. <laughs> I, do, I do. I got it from this kid. This kid killed the priest. I mean, come on. I, I snatched like, it away now. from him. Look at us now. I mean, like, you see what I meant before about how it takes longer to kill somebody? Oh, is the gnome talking again? <laughs> The gnome never shuts up. I'm so sorry. Uh, Lucky, give me your persuasion check. Here's where the rubber meets the road, folks. Honestly, the fact that someone has not gagged Boomer yet is a constant source of astonishment. 15. That's pretty good. I'll buy that. <laughs> they rolled a two. Uh... Us. Did you catch him in the act? We didn't catch him, but we saw him running from the premises, and he had this in his hand. Very nice. Very, very theatrical, too. Uh, the rubes, I'm sorry, the men-at-arms, uh, have bought it hook, line, and sinker uh, in spite of the insistency from the gnome. <laughs> Uh, they are inquiring about uh, odd the arrows, even the axe. They're curious about the axe wounds that this individual has and notices that only one of the two axemen uh, are covered in blood, but is spurted out from a shoulder wound and a chest wound. They will now entertain... Boomer, can you explain yourself? They they do not seem to give a shit that Hero shot him through the eyeball, though. I mean, we saw they saw the guy, and like we were running because we were talking to you guys before. So when we saw them running, then we saw them come the kid, and the kid was doing some creepy ass magic, right? So we knew that we had to do something. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, that kid was creepy before. So I knew it, and I was like, and then and then I saw him do the magic, and I thought, well, that's an ordinary kid. So I tried to chop his head off like any person would. D12 against me. <laughs> well, I should have done charm person before this. <laughs> oh, no. I got a four. Oh, no. oh no. They begin to rub their temples at the high-pitched volume and the incessant yammering. Uh, and around the corner comes a very familiar woman. Uh, you notice that she is not emaciated. She is intact. She is whole. She looks down. Does she smell like whiskey? Yes, she does. <laughs> Has little little nicks and scratches from somebody uh, <laughs> mashing her in the face with a whiskey bottle and, and big bruises. Uh, also, at a uh, uh, the flat head from being pushed through the bed. And she looks at the child. The townspeople come in behind her. Hush tones gather. And she's like, our town has been saved. 
you have gotten rid of the evil. Because the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Go ahead, hero. Thank you for your saying that. It is appreciative that you have, have come to us in your hour of need and we have rescued the town. Sorry about the trout, though. Unfortunately, we were not able to get to him in time. Wow. So uh, the lady will explain that her son uh, was resurrected from the grave. Uh, and of course, much like the very popular Stephen King novel, uh, Pet Cemetery, uh, he didn't come back as a whole person. He took over control of their cleric, who he then killed. Uh, a little bit campy, but uh, the actual production model is, uh, I explained to these guys, far too intense to run in two hours. So I had to adjust <laughs> as needed. So that being said, uh, Kaylee, what did you think? That's the quietest you've been on. <laughs> I'm not sure to feel slighted or not. Uh, but you know I, what? I will take that. So. I, I No, thank you very much. I had a lot of fun. I hope to, I used up all my words on Boomer. Uh, now I'll, I'll accept that one. Uh, Kyle, what'd you think? I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a... Uh... Really cool to play a, a play a different character. Get back into D and D five E because it's been a long time since I played it. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you for running it. it was no, a really no good, problem. Good fun session. Not a lot of combat in this one, so it, it was a whole lot easier to get back into it. I think. Yes, yes, Maybe I appreciate that. Possibly, <laughs> uh, Andrew. What you think? I enjoyed it. I actually had a choice between two characters, and the last time I was on was a lot of combat, so I went combat heavy. Should have gone with the other one this time. So I'll probably be wrong the next time I'm on. But uh, no, I had the a lot of fun. an asshole. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Jeff, last but not least, what'd you think? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was far <clears throat> fun. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this has been Murder check. Hobo Inc. Uh, I'd like to thank these guys for uh, giving us two hours of their time. Uh, we always appreciate it. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. Most importantly, of course, is to contact us if you want to be on the Tuesday talk show or, like these guys, play on a Saturday, maybe, maybe next Thursday. Uh, we aren't sure if Kyle's going to be back from St. Louis in time to run the cred campaign. If he is not, I've never been to St. Louis in my life. Shot. You what? <laughs> I've never been to St. Louis in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for the beer and the zoo. Uh, the arch does sway. Not shitting you. Oh. The arch noticeably sways when you're at the top. Uh, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice uh, if you need some uh, dice. Uh, also uh, with Kaylee. Uh, and uh, of course, oddfishgames.com Acres of Adventure Sense so that your game doesn't stink and it will smell as awesome as ours do uh don't forget murderhobocon.com uh august 1st it's a sunday it's going to be a one-day charity event meaning once we get the bills paid uh the rest of the money goes to the american cancer society uh we aren't looking to make a profit so that uncle sam and the irs can stay off my ass uh so look it up murderhobocon.com folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc Thank you very much for joining us. Let's give them a big dating game kissing a wave and let's get out of here. Mwah. Laters. <laughs>